Well, we published last week the first official data on what the work program performance. What's very clear is that people are coming off benefit. Uh, over half the people who joined the work program in June last year have spent time off benefit. We're seeing that proportion increase the longer people are on the program. Uh, we're seeing people get into work. So 200,000 of the over 800,000 people who are on the work program have had work. I think the challenge is that only 31,000 people have been in work for six months. And I think the challenge the work program faces is how do we increase not just the number of people starting a job, but staying in there for six months and longer. Because it's only by people staying in work for six months and longer that work program providers will get paid uh, for the support they're offering. I mean, I th one of the things that really strikes me, and I visit a lot of work program providers in London, Romford, in Southampton, uh, in Birmingham, in, in Newcastle, in Swansea, are the individual stories. The ways in which the work programs help people who perhaps uh, have been out of work for a long time uh, get into work, how they've helped them overcome uh, their, perhaps their homelessness as a barrier to work, overcome their mental health issues. Uh, I talked to a young man in Swansea who said, actually, what they did, they helped me. They help me do my CV, they help me prepare for an interview, and they help me get a job. I think that those human stories are the successes of the work programme. What I want to see is more people helped in the same way by the work programme providers. You know, I think what we saw in the past was a plethora of contracts, of you know, short, some are short term, some are extended at short notice, very fragmented, uh, really designed around what uh, the government thought was the right plan. Actually, what we've done since we've come into office is redesign welfare to work to ensure people are paid by results, encouraged to innovate, and actually encouraged to personalise their services. So actually, what's happening is the support has been given to those who need it in the form that they, in which they need it, rather than being subject to some centralised plan or diktat that tells people what they should be doing. So it really is personalised, it's tailored, it's paid by results, it encourages innovation, and I think this is a vast improvement on the schemes that have gone before, which proved to be expensive and not particularly effective.